Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the JJRC Soul. This is a tiny folding selfie drone. Typically what I mean by small, it's going to be about the size of a paperback book, so something maybe this size. But this drone is much smaller. JJRC is a company that we've seen uh, in the past already. We saw another low-cost selfie drone from them. That one uh, had a slightly larger form factor, was a little bit cheaper. This one sells for about $45, so it's still quite affordable, and the packaging here is pretty simple. If we can pull out to reveal what is an instruction manual right on top. Here's the drone itself. We'll take a closer look in a second. And down below here, we have some of the other contents, including the remote control, which is also extremely flat, as well as portable. And finally, underneath this, we have a spare propeller in addition to the charging cable. This battery I actually put in here myself. It's not uh, the way it was packaged originally, but just to give, give you guys an idea, this is what the charger looks like. It uses a small pin-based connector here. And there's also, again, the aforementioned spare propeller tips. All right, so taking a look at the design of the drone here, uh, so everything folds down like this. So it really is tiny um, in terms of the front. Again, it's about the same size as a fitness tracker or a credit card. It tucks away extremely easily into a pocket, but you probably would want to put it into a case just to prevent it from getting damaged, and it is extremely lightweight as well. Definitely has a very attractive and clean looking design. We have the logo on the top, simply a power key, the sole logo, and you can see how the propellers fold very easily onto uh, these protective hinges. How you eject them is using these buttons both on the front left and on the right of the drone. So I can snap on it once to release the left and right, and then once more to release these two. Um, so it pops out like this, and now we have a fully functioning micro drone. It's also padded by these tiny little rubber feet, so that provides a little bit of a shock absorbency. So if it does drop from a height onto a hard surface, it should still uh, not damage itself quite as easily. And on the other side, we also have the tiny little camera lens. It captures 720p HD resolution video, but the angle of the, the camera is not adjustable. And obviously at such a small device, it's not an, a gimbal uh, or stabilized video. So if you're looking for the best video footage, obviously you would want to look at a more expensive, larger drone, such as a DJI. Taking a quick look at the app, the first thing that you need to do is connect to the drone's Wi-Fi. So you go into Wi-Fi settings on your phone, select the JJRC, and then open up the app itself and you'll be connected. You'll see a view of what the camera is seeing on the drone and from first impressions you can see that the image quality isn't quite as poor as what you'd expect on such a budget and small unit. Um, it actually has pretty accurate looking colors. The only downside really is going to be the resolution. It's uh, only going to be approximately a 2 megapixel camera, so if you do a lot of zooming you'll lose the detail pretty quickly. But you can see that in indoors as well as outdoors and good lighting environments, it actually does a decent job. Uh, so the interface here is the same as what we saw on the previous JJRC drones. It allows us to quickly capture an image. So I can tap on that once. One thing you notice though is that the LED lights are pretty bright. So they do sometimes get captured into your shots uh, if you are in darker environments. So that's something to keep in mind as well as bring up the on-screen cursors, which I could use to ascend the drone and start flying it around. Because it is a selfie drone at the end of the day, if you're capturing images of people's faces, it will try to remove pimples as well as, uh, you know, beautify your face. So it's actually kind of cool to play around with. And you have two versions of each picture, which is saved onto the phone's internal memory since there isn't a memory card slot on the drone itself. You can see that outdoor shots uh, are decent. Again, a little bit fuzzy just because there's not a lot of detail at only two megapixels. But afar, the shot looks decent as far as color is concerned. The angle of the lens is a little bit narrow. It's not a very wide angle shot but as a whole, decent, again, for the really low price and the super small size. This next photo here is what the beauty mode does. It just makes the image a little bit wider, so it will apply that beauty shot automatically to every single image and take up a little bit more of your memory. Some more shots of flowers indoors, again, captures uh, colors actually pretty well, and sometimes the uh, changing, you know, some of the properties using the beauty mode does make the shot actually a little bit better in terms of quality. So as a whole, it works. Uh, we also have video footage, which I can show you guys here very quickly. It doesn't capture sound, but again, if you do move it uh, fairly slowly around, since it's not optically stabilized, you can still get uh, usable results. Um, just not super uh, high resolution or super detailed, but not bad, again, for the really budget price that we're talking about here. To pair the drone, we're just going to use the joystick, press it up, and then press it down in sequential order until the lights stop flashing. I can also calibrate it by tapping on the top key here for a few seconds, and then it will calibrate the gyroscopes so that the motion is done. Afterwards, I can tap on this right shoulder key for it to automatically hover to, to 1.5 feet, which uh, JJRC claims is the optimal height for capturing people's faces for selfies. So
Battery life, as expected on a really small drone, isn't great. It will get you around 6 to 7 minutes of continuous use before you need to recharge it again, and then it takes about 45 minutes to completely charge up when you plug it into the USB port of a power bank or a computer. And this is definitely a drone you would want to fly indoors, and if outdoors, you would want to use it when there's no wind around, since it's very lightweight, it will float pretty easily. It also has an effect, which is diagrammed on the manual, that says when the drone is within 30 centimeters from the ground, it will be affected by the blade vortex and become unstable. It's called the ground effect. That's, I guess, true just because of how lightweight it is. If it gets closer to the ground, it starts to shift around, so you probably would want to take images and videos when higher up in terms of elevation. So that's the JJRC Soul. Is it going to be the most powerful drone? Does it have the best camera? Does it have the longest battery life? I'll know, but the design is basically the reason why you would want to consider this in the first place, just because it really is so tiny, uh, it, it's so cool in terms of how it's engineered, and it almost seems like a collectible in many ways. It's not going to be a daily driver, but for something that really is so portable, if you want to travel light, if you just want something for occasional use, it actually performs much better than you think, and I think JJRC just did a really awesome job as far as the design is concerned. Again, it really is one of the most clever and original designs I've seen uh, in drones in a long time, and I do think that even if they have a larger form factor with a more powerful version, it could be quite versatile and useful for folks wanting to travel light or having something ultra slim to take with them when on the go. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. That's been the JJRC Soul Tiny Slash Micro Selfie 